This is one of the critical review uh, from bethinking.org. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I haven't read it yet through, but yeah, it would be very nice then here to see the implied meaning of the review itself. Okay, because this website claims that they have made a critical review. And the, the first subtitle is here. Really nice. Fascinating but flawed. Okay, so here we go. Maybe like we can start reading from the first place here. Okay. Oh, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Okay. Okay. From the outside, Harari seeks to establish the multifold force that made Homo man into Homo sapiens, wise man. Exploring the impact of blood, brain, tool, use, complex social structure, and more, he brings the picture up to date by drawing conclusion from mapping the Neanderthal genome, which he think indicate the sapiens did not merge with Neanderthals, but pretty, pretty much wipe them out. Mm -hmm. Tolerance is is not a sapiens trademark, which I then setting the scene for the short of animal he will be picked as to be. Okay, so this is one of the, uh, I mean, like the first statement from the view. Okay, here we go. Maybe we can start off from here. Fascinating, but flawed. Okay. Fascinating, but flawed. Harari, uh, Harari's pictures of elderly men and then the foragers and agrarians are fascinating, but he breathlessly rush on to take us part the agricultural revolution of hand of ten thousand years ago to the arrival of religions the scientific revolution industries industrialization <clears throat> the advance of artificial intelligence and the possible end of humankind his contention of that his contention is that Homo sapiens originally an insignificant animal foraging in Africa has become the terror of the ecosystem. Page four six five. There is truth in this, of course, but his picture is very particular. He is pressed in my view, on the modern world and his foresight acted analysis of what we are doing to ourselves struck many chords with me. Ne nevertheless, in my opinion, the book also deeply flawed in place and Harari is much better social scientist than he is philosopher, logician, and historian. His critics of modern socialism is, is very repressing and objective. Is piercing together of the share of prehistory imaginative and appear to non-specialist confusing. But his understanding of some historical period and document is much less impressive, demonstrably so in my view. Okay. Okay. So, take a look. Uh, one of the critical review here stated that Harris picture fascinating but flawed. Maybe uh, the same question, you know, comes after my uh, last question related to it's a bit risky. 
back, look back again what humankind evolutions and how uh, the time lapse of humankind, whether it was coming uh, um, like before dinosaurs or after dinosaurs, and there must be like, a lot of artifacts or some uh, left heritage of Homo sapiens itself. So uh, from here, according to this kind of, okay, how do you say it? I mean, uh, do you think that this review hit uh, the first impressions of yours? You did, Harry's book, Akbar? Mm, no, I did not know well, how to react because mm -hmm. I haven't finished with the book yet, right? Mm -hmm. But I think that the book is really good and mm -hmm. in historically telling mm -hmm. us the history. Okay. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, he can simplify what we are mm -hmm. as a homo sapiens, something like that, and why we are the only mm, why the reason why are the only we are the only homo genus that still alive mm -hmm. until today. Okay. Okay. Uh, but also, uh, does Harari put some citation? like maybe some uh, historical reference while demonstrating uh, the chapter, Akbar? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, does Harari uh, give some pictures of historical reference while describing the chapter? Like what? Like, for example, um citations for example like uh he quoted okay one of uh historians maybe like uh, um imaginary homo sapiens in the futures like as we know that we have been um going through within some periods the evolutions uh like in darwin's too uh some of the mm -hmm. concepts in the changing of our physical appearance yeah, I mean, like, does Harari put some quotation uh, like that, as we can see easily on scientific or some uh, historical motivational self development? Uh, he put some imaginary and reference, mm -hmm. uh, like general reference that I commonly see in a science class, actually, mm -hmm. like the proof of Homo sapiens, the tools that they are using and something like that. Uh, uh, it's not, uh, it's, it is similar with, you know, like, it's not crossing my knowledge about human, human origin okay. from the lesson that I learned from school. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's, that's something like that. But, yeah, um, yeah, that's the thing. But it's not, like, explicitly said about Darwin theory or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, what he deliver is some, I think, common knowledge that also told on the, uh, you know, high school or middle school level, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. okay, so that's really nice. And so, uh, according to you, it's still a fascinated with some uh, common sense, not coming yeah, across um, into your orientations of human origin. What about like the following uh, misunderstanding the medieval world? Okay, this is like literally, you know, like research based content, but at least you can read through this review. Okay, misunderstanding of the medieval world. Yes. Harari is not good on the medieval world, or at least the medieval church. He suggests that premodern religion asserted that everything important to know about the world was already known. Page two hundred seventy-nine. So. There was no curiosity or expansion of learning. When does he think this view just he make he makes it 
much to live. He gives the imagined example of a 13th century peasant asking a preach about spider and being rebuffed because, because such knowledge was not in a Bible. It's hard to know where to begin in saying how wrong a concept this is. For example, in the 13th century, the friars so often depicted as lazy and corrupt were central to the learning of were the central to the learning of the universities. Moreover, there it's too small. Wait a minute. I will uh, a bit zoom in. Moreover, they were at that time able to teach independently of dictates from the church. As a result, there was an exchange of scholarship between national boundaries and demanding standards were set. The church also set up school throughout much of Europe. So as more people become literate, there was a corresponding increase in debate among the laity as well as among clerics. Its library collection were amazed by monks who study both religions and classical texts. Their scriptoria effectively become the research institute of their day. One surviving example of this is the fascinating library of Benedict Benedictness of at San Marco in Florence, commission, commission, commission in 1437. It became the first public library in Europe. This was a huge conceptual breakthrough in dissemination, dissemination of knowledge. The ordinary citizen at that great city now had access to the profound idea from the classical period onwards. And there is Thomas Aquinas, usually considered to be the most brilliant mind in the 13th century. He wrote on ethic, natural law, political theory, Aristotle. What? Aristotle. Aristotle. The, yes, the list goes on. Harari forget to mention him today as all know designated a saint of Roman Catholic Church. In fact, it was the church throughout Peter Ambler in the 12th century that initiated the idea that single authority was not sufficient for the establishment of knowledge, but that this putation was required to train the mind as well as the lecture for information. This was a breakthrough in thinking that set the pattern of university life for centuries ahead. Or about John Salisbury, 12th century Bishop, the greatest social thinker since Augustine, who bequeathed to us the function 
of the rule of law and the concept that even the monarch is subject to law and many and may be removed by the people if he break it. The following Cicero he reject he, he rejected dogmatic claim to certainty and asserted instead that probable truth was the best we could aim for, which had to be constantly re-evaluated and revised. Harari is wrong, therefore, to state that Vespucci 15.4 was, was the first to say we don't know which. 321. Okay. So this is what I told you before, the risky part in showing the time lapse of humankind. There won't be a particular, um, you know, a period that uh, entails with the founder, inventors, like each period will have their own person. Mm -hmm. should, you know, like notice it too as a part of, uh, you know, like a credibility uh, array mm -hmm. on his book. Mm -hmm. But um, how do you see this? I mean, uh, the reviewer explicitly say misunderstanding the medieval world. So this is all about the concept, misunderstanding the concept. But how do you see it? Uh, I, I don't know. I cannot I get the full picture because I haven't read the chapter. Mm -hmm. So I... the only perspective that I could use is only the critic uh, reviewer perspective. Okay. Um, but we, with the information that I got from the uh, reviewer, I could say that, yeah, maybe Harari messed up with uh, several you know, proof or evidence mm. of what he said, yeah. Yeah. Something like that. But also my common sense said that maybe even though he messed up with several detail, but in the big picture, maybe the Har maybe Harari is true in here in the medieval era. Uh, because uh, as far as I know, like, what happened with Galileo. I don't know. It's what in what century, actually. Mm -hmm. The point here is not... Uh, uh, the point here is not about something that not, you know, not, not only about something uh, that people not, learning and everything is based on the Bible or something like that. But what if the thing that Bible said is wrong, something like that, mm. like the phenomena of uh, the Bible said that the earth is the center of the universe, but it turned out that the sun is the central of universe, at, at least the central of our solar system, mm -hmm. something like that. That's like something that controversial to say it at that era, right? Mm -hmm. If we say something like that, even though we had a proof that uh, it's the majority of people won't believe us, you know, because it's not what Bible say. I think uh, the Har I think Harari want to you know, point out this kind of perspective of people in that era, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but also like in a Bible. But I don't know the... Hmm? Yeah, sometimes like, you know, uh, by mentioning the Bible on the review and uh, how to respond it as well, maybe I myself, okay, uh, I will look at like uh, another example when um, the sun, Okay, in fact, it becomes our uh, center of universe, in fact. And then uh, it was like 
stated that Earth becomes like the center of the universe. Yeah, in Al Quran, it was mentioned too that the Earth is the central of uh, universe. But within like Asbab Nuzul, it has a particular um, context actually. That, that's what uh, we might say because, you know, like uh, Al Quran becomes like the perfect Shivite uh, form of uh, previous books. But that's really interesting. Um, how then, you know, like the common pictures of the science sometimes uh, come across with the conventionals or the statements of holy books, for example. But how do you see it, Akbar? I see that, you know, contextually using a holy book as our guidance mm -hmm. throughout our observation in science, something like that, is mismatch. I mean, we use holy book as our guidance to, you know, lead our morality, mm -hmm. how to be a good human, how to worship to God, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, accord, I mean, uh, you, the, because holy book can be trans, you know, cannot be literally translated yeah. as a clear information, right? Yeah, we yeah. have to put some context on it. That's why the article like of uh, Tafsir books to understand. Yeah, it. correct, How correct. Yeah, like maybe the meaning of central of universe in the Quran is like this is like the the earth is oh, the fine. central, yeah, or of uh, our life, no matter how big the universe are, we are live on Earth. So this is like our center of universe, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. But the maybe there's some essence of it. Uh, the point of view, um, but uh, the, the, the perspective that I want to you know, focus here is mm -hmm. uh, when we literally consume the holy book with that uh, you know, dig in deeper or of what the meaning in the in the holy book mm -hmm. and literal and then rejecting others idea that against this holy book. That's is that's kind of perspective that I say mm -hmm. is uh will you know will uh you know be a blocker mm -hmm. of the evolution or the the you know the advancement of the science. Okay. Something like that. Okay. That's really interesting. Yeah, somehow uh there will be like some roadmaps actually to see how science work under a uh, holy book. I forgot it's coming from Ghazali or uh Ibn Rushdi. They ever made it. That's why we have like some Islamic philosophers, you know, like they deal with the science. But they also stick to uh, the holy book. And it's really interesting, but it is like uh, our concept here. But maybe from the reviewer, yeah, uh, he might have some uh, referral uh, data of um, another book talking at the same object with the same period. That's why uh, mm -hmm. he bravely seems understanding the medieval world. Yeah, correct. But mm -hmm. uh, I see here that most of the you know citation here mm -hmm. is about social and law mm -hmm. uh, not like literally science scientific or there's no citation i think as far as i read or i missed something mm -hmm. i am not seeing the reference that said in that era the of the advancement uh you know like the development of science is there like the observation of or something that more you know crossing the bible maybe something like that yeah it could be like some drawbacks too um as the reviewer maybe he might be thinking that okay i uh have no responsibility to try it out maybe he just mentioned uh it's all about dogmatics theory in here you know uh this one mm -hmm. So like a three is Thomas Aquinas. Now he mentions only the name, 
but not literally what book of Thomas Aquinas or the concept of Thomas Aquinas. Yeah. Maybe like uh, that's the the reasons why uh, we see his review uh, without reading the content of the book um, looks blurry in here. Yeah, it's not blurry. We, uh, in my opinion, I all I some I you know I the only perspective that I could use is only the reviewer perspective here. So, and the reviewers here put some evidence so that the thing that I could do is only, uh, you know, commenting or reviewing the review uh, rather than see if it fits or not with the book something. Yeah, because like we have some uh, drawback that we haven't read the content, but at least yeah, yeah, we have some let. Maybe uh, yeah. you can get through to the particular pages mentioned by the reviewer, okay, to see how far uh, the content of the review match to the text. That will be okay. And this one, short-sighted okay, reductionism. Okay. Short-sighted reductionism. His passage about human rights not existing in nature is exactly right, but his treatment of the U.S. Declaration of Independence is surely completely mistaken. It's 123. To translate it, as he does into statement about evolution is like translating a rainbow into a mere geometric art or better translating the landscape into a map of course neither process is a neither process is a translation for to do so is an impossibility they are what they are. The one is an inspiration, the others an analysis. It is not a matter of one being untrue, the other true. Both landscape and maps are capable of conveying truth of different kind. The declaration is a aspirational statement about the right that ought to be accorded to each individual under the rule of the law in a post enlightenment nation predicted upon Christian principle. Harari's translation is a statement about what our era currently believe in post-Darwinian culture about humanity's evolutionary drivers and our selfish genes. Biology may tell us those things, but human experience and history tell a different story. There is altruism, 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 as well as egoism. There is love as well as fear and hatred. There is morality as well as amorality. The sword is not the only way in which even an epoch haven't been made indeed to make biology or biochemistry the final irreductible way of preserving human behaviors as Harari seems to do seem tragically short-sighted. Okay. Okay. So from here, what did you get? This is interesting. Short-sighted reduction means, um, you know, like the lack of um, maybe like observation, I thought, in terms of the linguistic, because, you know, mm -hmm. interpretations are totally different from the translation. But according to this, how do you see uh, his angles in saying? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, 
So wait, wait a minute. Actually, I don't get it. Uh, what the uh, the reviewer want to say? He said that Harari uh, did a simplification in translation, or somewhat like uh, uh, in here he said that uh, the analogies like translating landscape into map. Uh, in my opinions, when we try translating landscape into map, there will be a lot of detail that are gone because a map are created with a context, right? Yeah. That means the only thing that will be captured is a there is a, a you know like is a or yeah like the the thing that will be captured or translated is something that match with the context, something like that from the landscape. Okay. Okay. So, okay, I got this. And then the declaration is an aspirational statement about the right that ought to be an error. Okay. The Harari translation in statement about what our currently believe in in a post-Darwinian culture about humanities, evolutionaries, and drive, and drive, and our selfish genes. Okay. okay. Biology, mental, blah, 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 blah. So, what thing that the reviewer want to say, like we cannot use a biology as the final irreduction uh, irreducible way of perceiving human behavior or something like that okay i thought that th this is uh, about you know like interpreting of the social context mm -hmm. like okay. uh, you know uh, here he said about human rights not accessing in nature is exactly right but his treatment of the us declaration of independence is surely completely mistaken it means mm -hmm. uh, Maybe in the book, Harari tries to uh, give some uh, study case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And from the study case, he tried to um, integrate with these mm -hmm. exiles. Uh, okay. so it's right here. To make it more authentic, it would be impossible that uh, you know, like the study case would be like the way it is. He must try to find out mm -hmm. the angle where the study case will follow our thesis. It is. And maybe in the process, uh, the, the process of that, this reviewer tried to see some of maybe mismatch or like misunderstanding mm -hmm. in terms of mm -hmm. uh, the source. Okay, okay. Because so far I know from these two post passages and paragraphs, they're talking about US declaration and yeah. post enlightenment nation predicted upon Christian okay. principle. It means like it's all okay. about the case. But how so, do you... uh, okay, okay. I deduct. Mm -hmm. uh, in my deduction is in the book. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like you said, the outdoor mm -hmm. tried to use this study case of UIS uh, declaration statement, something like that to support his idea, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And but actually uh where when he used that, he only used a he only see from the perspective that he want to see something like that. Mm -hmm. It's like a translating for example uh landscape of the Java. Mm -hmm. As a, as a map of Java traffic to support an idea that a Java uh, traffic is really bad, something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. But uh, for supporting an idea of people in Java is really slow. But because in the map, he only showed the road and uh, maybe the average of uh, traffic, uh, average of traffic in Java, but not capturing the ch challenge, maybe like the lands, 
the landscape, the road, and something like that that make it harder for the Japanese people to make good infrastructure, it become like framing said that Java people incapable to create good traffic road, something like that. Mm. It's yeah. only an analogy, actually. Yeah, so maybe the reductionism is like maybe avoiding out some yeah. you know, details in illustration. Yeah. 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 Actually, I mean, like it will be, um, you know, it'll be common for some a books. Okay. Uh, as long as it's just like maybe semi fictional books. But if we, if we were talking about some, you know, risky content, like yeah. the short history of humankind, for example, yeah, as I told you, it will be like risky because there will be like a lot of, um, maybe a uh, reviewer uh, who might have the same background and surely might be you know coming against another principle theory i see i see yeah uh in here if we if what the review were true then uh you know uh maybe i will agree with the reviewer in here yeah it could be because somehow this is all about just maybe the simplification, maybe. Yeah, correct. With that, uh, because it can mislead. In I I ever found another case like that. Oh. It's still about evolutionary. I ever heard people that say that Adam is the first human because, uh, you know, Adam is the first human, but evolutionist evolutionary theory of Darwin is also true. The reason is because before Adam, there is an ancestor of human that not human that, and Adam is the first human or the first species of human or homo sapien that born from this uh, ancestor of human. So with this statement, it seems like we are co successfully connected you know, like integrating both theory of evolutionary theory, evolutionary theory of uh, of Darwin and also, you know, the fact in Bible, right? Yeah. About Adam. But if we see in more detail, at least in Al-Quran, say that when Ad Adam is created, Adam is created in the, you know, uh, perfect human form, an adult, not a kid not a baby so yeah. if we see through the detail this statement is actually not true but because of the simplification uh, or maybe like topology the statement sounds correct that is why in here i maybe agree with the reviewer if it's true because that kind of reduction of information can lead us to mid slip yeah. and something that's right and it is is very common that's why uh like, but here still we rely on a particular topic only especially in evolutionary yeah. theory but for yeah. some uh another scientific uh essays okay i think the risk is not that high to me myself yes yeah because it is really controversial to say that we are a part of animal <laughs> yeah that's right yeah that's right <laughs> Even like some people argue that we are, you know, like have the same line of uh, genus with apes, right? Yeah, yeah. Because in uh, Darwin's theory, we are coming from the big ape uh, yeah. family. Yeah, from the yeah. Like the, the thing. Yeah. You know, even like uh, according to the Darwin's theory, sometimes like I was questioning, okay, how could people get the picture of dinosaurs? You know? Um. Actually, Darwin never said about dinosaurs. If, factually, also, Darwin never said that humans come from ape, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. He uh, only, you know, found the foundation of evolutionary theory from yeah. his observation in Galapagos Island. Yeah. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he uh, observed, I don't know, butterfly or bird? I, I forgot. Yeah. Like butterfly, bird, butterfly, butterfly right? yes, 
in a in a Galapagos, and he concluded about evolution theory, evolution theory. But then this knowledge, this theory is developed more and more, and from that theory, it turned out that we are a part of uh, using the his uh, framework of thinking. Uh, it find it turned out that we are a part of ape. But if I'm not mistaken, Darwin never said that. But I don't know. Uh, I don't have any credible source that yeah. support my idea. I on it is only something that coming from my memory. It yeah. probably uh, wrong. Me. But it's common, Akbar. Because, however, uh, you know, like the um, the natural. I mean, like the natural uh, entity of theory is to be called off with another theory. And maybe one theory uh, would be objective in a particular uh, cases, and everybody could use the theory the same as the theory talked about, and it can create some sub science. But when another science can beat it up, yep, it might be having like two phases. Uh, in the, yeah, that. like in the physics, in the classical physics uh, that invented by Isaac Newton. When the physics is developed even more, then we found some other thing called quantum physics. And not every principle in the classical physics is applicable in the quantum physics, something like that. Uh, that is why. It, but it doesn't mean that Isaac Newton wrong, right? Mm -hmm. He created a foundation. And then there's... Uh, uh, because of an advancement uh, of the physics itself, we found out another stuff, another fact, something mm -hmm. like that. Yes, that may not cover with the uh, all the classical physics in this case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe like another case uh, might be coming from uh, I don't know, like the conflict or the chaos in defining the form of Earth, whether the Earth is round or flat. Yeah. I don't know until now uh, which one is right, but according to you, how do you respond to it? Okay. Um, art, I think art is um, based on the uh, calculation mm -hmm. that we did. Um, on the GIS is all based on the fact that Earth is round. Yeah, is is a not a round actually. Uh, what is that? Uh, three D shape of a round, like a ball, <laughs> something okay. like that. Uh, uh, <clears throat> we are. Uh, you know, like uh, in the map and something like that, we all of the mathematical calculation is based on the fact that Earth is round and how then people create satellite and something like that. It's, it's all based on the theory that Earth is round, not flat. Mm -hmm. that's the thing. And that's work. So mm -hmm. in this perspective, the fact that Earth is round is true because all of the system under that is working. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, the sub science coming from theory still valid, right? Still goes valid. Yeah. yeah. But how, how I mean, like, uh, have you ever like seen the claims from uh, any theorist uh, claiming that the Earth uh, flat? Other than from Earth, Earth, actually no. But in the past, maybe if you say that our, if we live mm. in Egypt in the past, maybe if we say that Earth is around, people will say that we are crazy because uh -huh. at that time, there's no proof or a system that working based on the theory that Earth is round, something like that. Mm, okay. At that time, people using star for navigation, something like that. Yeah. At that time, 
Yeah. Like, uh, like, there's no uh, map or Google map or GPS that based on the theory that the earth is round. So, uh, uh, at that time, if we say that the earth is around, it's all only based on faith, in my opinion. Okay. Okay. Something like that. And what drew people try to rely on their research based on the theory? It's still controversial at the moment. Sometimes, like, I was questioning that, you know, like I myself, I studied linguistics. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened before with Noam Chomsky's behavior with this structural uh, theory that uh, the language can be learned um, from, you know, like uh, the independency of brain. Uh, but now, like B.F. Skinner, for example, proposed the uh, behaviorism uh, language uh, acquisition. From this theory, I found out a lot of different study cases, like, you know, two I mean, like one house with one, uh, no, no, one house with two doors. And when you're coming from each door, then you see a different furniture in the house. That's what I found out. So even like one uh, study, sometimes I'm questioning. Uh, I uh, read several articles, several research. Uh, they rely on, okay, B.F. Skinner's. And another time, Somebody else, uh, Chites, Noam Chomsky, or maybe Ferdinand Bezauser. But for you in IT, uh, how do you say? I mean, did you find the same case like what I found? Mm. Like, uh, okay, in IT, <clears throat> for example, how we need how we manage our data in the database. Mm -hmm. It's there's no the best way or the truest way okay. of doing that. It relies on the context in IT nowadays because there's several theory of how we can manage the data and how it applicable to some particular type of database that we can use, and all of those database is valid in a specific use case. Mm, okay. In uh, If you want to, in IT, in uh, software development, for example, if you want to create an application for uh, like Google Maps or an, a recommendation system, and when you want to create an application of, for example, like more administrative application or banking apps, the type of database that are fit on both case will be different. Maybe if a software engineer that working on the banking system uh, will say that the database A is the right way to manage our data. But the developer of Google Maps of a recommendation system maybe will say different thing. That's all based on their use cases, something like that. Okay, and actually, we are. I mean, like, uh, we are eligible to follow which one for free. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It 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 based on the use cases, you know. Uh, it's like, uh, if we use a uh, quantum theory for solving classical physics mm -hmm. uh, problem that will be unfit. Mm, okay. Or, yeah, so it, in my opinion, that's the, everything is true based on their concept. Everything is lived in their context. And so everything may be true in some context, but there is no... Uh, you know, theory of everything, something like that, something that are true in all of context, something like that. The uh, the simplest example that I could say is for uh, for house builder, for example, uh, he, he will say that 
chainsaw is the best tool for cutting something like that. But for chef, uh, a knife maybe is the best tool for cutting something. Mm. Uh, and both is true in their context. Yeah. Of building house and cooking, if we misplace the if we yeah crossing the context, it will be sound really weird, right? Like, uh, chainsaw is the best tools for cutting. Uh, in the uh in a cooking context, that will be unfit because mm. you you may can cut with the uh, you may can cut. something with the uh, with the uh, chainsaw but it wouldn't be really effective in terms of cooking <laughs> yeah for sure it is so that's how i look something right now everything is realized on the context and uh there's no like theory of everything the, the, there's no uh there's no such thing that are living outside the context something like that mm, okay yeah in terms of like a divining the theory that's uh, the um, essential part of the principles because however if you look at only you know a single perspective and the use of the context yeah it would be you know like straight and hardly say that it is a theory yeah. because theory must be general right after like yeah. you know discovering some thesis and maybe from the thesis itself the researcher may find some limitation in the variable or the sampling that's why 